Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to White Room Resale. My name is Mark. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay. And uh, I went out and bought some stuff at the Salvation Army yesterday. I haven't, uh, haven't gone out on purpose sourcing for a little while because I haven't had to. But I picked up some pretty nice stuff and uh, thought I'd show it to you. And uh, let's get started. So I bought uh, 15 items for 58.80 at the Salvation Army. That works out to about just under $4 an item. That includes the tax on the items. Uh, the first item is this sealed ancient Gettysburg, not as old as Gettysburg, of course, but ancient uh, Gettysburg video game, CD-ROM game, sealed. I did look it up. You can scan on the eBay app. You can scan a barcode if it has a barcode. And there was a couple of listed. I think I think there was one sold. It's probably not worth a lot, but this one's sealed. Um, that's about as far as my investigations went. So we'll see what happens. They they do sell. This um is what is it? It's an Avon Avon's. A name not only known for soaps, et cetera, et cetera. It's also known for um, figures and things like that. But this is um, from 1982. And it's a nativity collectible, which is pretty good. And I wonder if they're made to be painted, if you wanted to paint them or not. But this thing is like... Look, look at the box. The box even looks brand new. Inside, it looks just like that. It looks brand new, untouched. Uh, these are blue tags at the Salvation Army. Each week, there's three different tags that are... Two colors are uh, half price, and one color is 99 cents. This time, the blues were half price, and the greens were 99 cents, and the whites were half price. Found this uh, Tommy Hilfiger women's distressed shorts with tags. Again, these all average out to just under four dollars an item, um, and that works out pretty good. New with tags, women's Nike hoodie, hoodie, Nike tank top, dry fit. Well, it says girls, girls XL. That's fine. Then we get into some pretty good vintage stuff. This is I paid up for this, but when you average it out, it's still four dollars. So that's good to average out things. The yellows were full price, so $8.99. But this is a vintage wool Pendleton flannel made in the USA. And I will put some prices up for the solds. This thing looks like, it really looks like it's never been worn or washed. Hopefully it hasn't been washed the wrong way if it has been washed because it's a men's XL. And if it's been washed the wrong, wrong way, it will have shrunk. But this is one of the cooler. This is one of the cooler pieces. I picked up a vintage Polo Ralph Lauren quarter zip. Quarter zip mock neck. Those are the keywords. Quarter zip mock neck. Um, that's the vintage tag from at least the early 2000s, really nice. Double XL. The bigger, the better. Um, I usually pick up, if it's in good shape, anything Syracuse. Um, normally $4 for a polo is, is a little pricey, but this is very nice, champion. What size is it? Medium. Hmm. Medium's not the best size, but 
It's a very nice Syracuse orange jersey and Syracuse just sells great. I saw this hanging up and I touched it. This is a men's robe. And I was like, man, that's nice. And then I saw the tag, Vermont Country Store, 2XL. And I thought, I don't know, this seems really nice. So I looked it up and these are going for pretty good money. Pretty good money. If it was a little bit smaller, I would keep it for myself because it's awesome. But instead, maybe I'll make $40. We'll see. Again, I'll be putting prices up. What else do we have here? So this was a green tag, which means it was 99 cents. And while if it was $5.99, I probably I wouldn't have gotten it probably because it's Corning. Corning is local here, local-ish, but it's an LL Bean fleece women's full zip jacket. Um, the elbows, elbows look okay. Look at the elbows because the elbows on these fleeces can wear out pretty fast if it's it's got some logos on it. But since it's LL Bean, it should sell okay. Probably eighteen dollars, fifteen to eighteen dollars, and plus shipping. Another green tag, ninety-nine cents. So. My buying strategy is that I tend not to buy anything that's full price unless I can get enough 99 cent things to bring the average down. So again, the average of this, each item of this thing is $4. That leaves plenty of room. This is a Nike dry fit jacket. And again, it's got Waverly soccer which doesn't necessarily mean it won't sell. It is a very nice Nike athletic dry fit jacket. So again, probably 18 to $20 plus shipping. It is a medium. So it's not a brilliant size, but it's a good enough size. There's still plenty of medium people out there. Then again for 99 cents another I want to say vintage Nike jacket and this has Cortland men's soccer which is a fairly well-known college here in New York um, it's a very nice jacket again it's a medium lined athletic jacket should still get probably $20 for it. Maybe more, you never know with these things. Now, I was excited about this. I haven't looked it up. I don't know, I don't know what it's actually gonna take, but this is a vintage Polo Ralph Lauren made in USA jacket. and a double XL and I feel like this is gonna be this is at least early 90s I don't think it's 80s but it might be I feel like I can get $40 for it but I'll but I'll look it up and find see if I can find some solds to show you and we'll see what it we'll see what we get Another nice find. I did look this up. And there was some going for pretty good money. I'm going to try not to tear it with this damn, sorry, stupid staples. The North Face, what does it call it? 550. 550 jacket. Um, I looked it over as best I could. I didn't really see any flaws. Too many flaws or defects. It's got a little thing over the label I'm going to try to get off. I think it was a name tag. It's a men's small, but I think I can probably get 50 or $60 for this. 
not bad for a four dollar investment and then last but not least for 99 cents which was i can't believe it was still there this is a marmot jacket another medium um very very nice very very nice i want to say it's a women's jacket because that's what it looks like but it also seems kind of big for a women's jacket um either way it's marmot it's very nice it's very clean again all these items look almost unworn except for the the nike sports stuff and that's it for that thrift haul uh, i was going to the salvation army once a week and just buying a bunch of stuff half of which was meh so then it's still in my store although i do sell it and i do make money on it but investing two or three dollars and making two or three dollars is okay if you can do that a hundred times a day but i don't so I'm looking for um, quality over quantity now. I'm not going to be concerned at all about quantity in my store. I'm going to be concerned about the highest quality stuff I can get to sell for the highest price um, because I want to raise my average sale price up so that, uh, let's see. So that I can do more in less time, make more money in less time, and uh, just make the overall appearance of the store better. So that if somebody does visit my store, and I have, I don't know, I think I have 150 followers to my store, which you can do. And then you send out, you know, every time you put a sale on, the watchers, they get that notice, the, followers get that notice and so on and so forth and when and I just want nice really nice stuff in my store all the time there are some junk in my store there's a bunch of CDs this that and the other thing um, I was trying to list without buying anything in December because things went sideways quick in the middle of November as we've spoken about so instead of putting out more money, I was just trying to, because I pulled some stuff out of my store because it wasn't really selling and relisting some of the stuff did sell. It did, it's been selling. So we'll see whether or not I pull it down or not, or if I just, uh, uh, instead of doing a store-wide sale, start doing hitting specific category sales again, like I used to, and just really, maybe trying to blow that stuff out because it's paid for a long time ago and there's no there's no money in it sorry the heater came on it's a little rattly anyway i hope everybody's doing well i uh, hope everybody is going to have a great weekend with lots of sales if you do sell if not then you just have fun doing whatever you want to do so take care of yourself first so that you can take care of other people peace